Welcome to the Survivor Fans Podcast. I'm Joanne. And I'm Stacy. And we're waiting to interview Russell from Survivor Samoa. Yeah. Russell, congratulations on winning fan favorite. You Thank deserved you. it. Thank you. We want you to know that Jason was wrong. Not everybody hated you. They did in the after the first episode, but after that, you won America over. Uh, Jason's just a weak-minded person. He's weak, mm -hmm. and uh, if he thought he could Q and A with me on national television and and look good, uh, I'm the one that's always going to look good. Uh, you know when. It, I couldn't believe that he was going to try to talk to me like that on national television. You're going to get yourself in big trouble. And he just, you know, uh, it was just a, that was a good moment. I like that. The socks, burning the socks again. <laughs> so, that was funny. That was a good move. Mm -hmm. So let's go back to the beginning. How were you chosen to be on Survivor? I applied for a, a, a Pirate Master. I don't know if you remember that. Oh, yeah. yeah, we definitely remember. We watched. You've been a great pirate. Yeah, yeah, but I'm, good thing I didn't get on that one, huh? Yeah. So yes. Amazing. But uh, I applied for that. They called me two years later. They called me and uh, asked me if I'd be interested in coming down. Mm -hmm. And I was like, uh, yeah. Came down here. I knew if I got that call, I knew I'd be on the show. So, you know. So were you a fan of the show before I, they called? I wasn't really a fan of the show. Uh, I'm stunned now. Yeah, I wasn't a fan of it, but I am a huge fan now. I respect the game. You know, when, when I I knew that I didn't win, because I, I can read people that well. And uh, that's why I even have a website not right now, russellgotscrewed.com. <laughs> knew that it was coming. And uh, it's just, uh, you know, when I when I heard it, I had, you know, it kind of it kind of took me back. You know, it took me to where I was like, man, you play that game so hard. You, you you try your best. You give it your all, heart and soul, and you still don't win. It is that's pretty, you know, uh, breathtaking to me. It's just I don't like it. It's but I got the fan favorite. The fans love me. The fans think I should have won, and that's a wonderful. Yeah, you know, you're a god in the Survivor pantheon now for sure, and you you got to know that inside, and given all that you were able to accomplish. So, you know, yeah. we, we truly appreciate it, what you did for the season in that regard, and what you did for Survivor. Right. It's awesome to get you see get to see you play. All right, well, I sure appreciate that, and uh, I appreciate my fans. And the thing is, uh, you know, I wasn't going to change the way I played at Travel for the, you know, Travel Council for the, for the Million. I still didn't change the way I played. I still was aggressive in my answering. Why should I change how I play? You know, just to say, oh, I'm sorry, I appreciate y'all, I did, the, you know, uh, I'm not going to do that, you know, so. Uh, it happens, you get emotional juries and, you know, they they want to bite back a little or something like that. It's happened before. Yeah, and, I, and it's, it seems like it's getting worse. It happened with Boston Rob. Boston Rob, he won uh, the season, in my opinion, but then, uh, then, you know, Amber wins. My season, same exact thing, but the only difference between me and Boston is uh, I don't think he's as good as I am. You know, I call it the poverty effect that come from out of nowhere social aspect of the game because it's so hard for, for us, the fans, to see that coming, right? Did, did you have any sense of how the social game was playing out, too, in terms of how Natalie approached it? You see, people talk about Russell didn't have a social game. Really? No, no, I'm not saying I mean, that. No, but people say that, and the thing is, my social game was brilliant because I was able to control them people. How it was a completely you, different social game than we had seen before. Right. Yeah. How can you, you know, not have a social game and, sh you know, while you're watching it and seeing me controlling them, shows you that this guy's social game is pretty damn good. Right. It's just just in a different way. It's right. not like I'm your buddy, I'm your pal, and I'm going to learn everything about you. Right. You, you had a different, you showed us a whole new side of the social game. Right. Yeah, and that's, that's uh, uh, that was a very... Uh, interesting side of it because that side will get you to the finals every time you have to you have to always know what's happening you have to always know what's going on so how did you do that what, what was the 
the plan that you followed to stay on, so on top of things like that? First thing I did was from the very first, you know, maybe the second day or something, when I burnt the socks and I poured out the water. And I said, if you can control the way they feel, you can control the way they think. They already were miserable out there. So I was staying strong. So it's easy to manipulate somebody that's suffering. You know, uh, my grandfather was a prisoner of war for three and a half years in the Bataan Death March. That's what they did to them when they wanted them to talk. They starved them. And when, I'm not dealing with, you know, you know, dealing with a bunch of babies or that other word that starts with a P. So you made it You made it look really easy finding the hidden immunity idols. How long did it take you? It took me a long time to find them. It wasn't real easy. That's just, you know, how they, how you can't, you can't show me looking for it for 24 hours, you know. So uh, it was very hard finding them. But I was like, I started, because I would, I would look in hours in every spot, you know. So because of that, uh, it took me a while. I didn't get, because the bridge was way in the back and I didn't get to it because I'm, I'm looking at, you know, the water, water well for, for seven hours because I don't want to miss anything. I don't want to miss, you know, think I, when I leave that place, I want to know, okay, it's not here. Then we move on to the next one. So. You certainly made it look easy. So, uh, what would you want your fans to know about you that maybe didn't come through in the editing? Uh, you know what? I like the editing. I like the the way they edited me a lot. And now they even see that side of me with Brett. You know, I was I liked Brett. It was a tough decision not to bring Brett with me. You, you really spent some time deliberating that, right? And invested yourself in that, right? Because he's you know he's such a good guy. I was like, all right, but you know what? That's the poverty effect. You got to be careful with that. My mind got back into focus and say, no. I want the title of Soul Survivor. So he's got to go because he's winning it if he goes. So what's next for you? I don't know. Uh, maybe uh, The Apprentice so I can beat up Donald Trump for firing me. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I, uh, I you know, I'm waiting, waiting on the phone calls. I get a phone call. I might, I might uh, want to do Survivor again. Might not. Might want to do it again. You never know. But, uh, Definitely love to see that. It would be interesting with that heroes versus villains thing. You know, me finally being a hero and all, that would be really cool. What a nice twist that would be. So if you got yeah, the opportunity if you got the opportunity to play the game again, how would you play it differently? Uh, I don't think I I don't think I would, but it's kinda hard because because of I'm so good at the game, uh, I know that you have to see who you're dealing with first. You see who you're dealing with. You see if you can control them people, and then then you go. You don't make a strategic plan before you get on there. You make it while you're on there. Thank you so much, Russell. We appreciate your speaking with us today, and we enjoyed you on this season. Thanks. Absolutely. You made it for us. Thanks. Thanks. All right. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Thanks for coming back, Russ.